Today we're going to talk about the pages and posts in WordPress. So you might be asking yourself or you might be asking us, is there a difference with pages and posts in WordPress? Well, yes there is. Let's go with posts first. Posts are like the news portion or the news section of your website or the blog site. So people usually use the posts to make updates regarding a certain topic. And with this, posts are listed usually in reverse chronological order, meaning the newer posts are the ones on top. Please take note as well that posts can be categorized or tagged and posts are included in the RSS feed. Now let's go to pages. For pages, these are usually used for static information. Now, when we say static information, these will be information like your contact information, information about yourself, which you put in the About Us page or About page, Generally, the information that you put on pages are the ones that doesn't change for a long period of time. Please take note as well that pages cannot be categorized or tagged, and they aren't listed by date. And one more thing about pages is that these aren't included in the RSS feeds. So with that, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.